I have to give you a little hat tip here because when we were discussing uh, best bets uh, prior to the show, you, you had the, some numbers up and you found the Rams team total of 18 and a half for me, which is uh, the best price that I found. So I'm going to go under 18 and a half Rams Love versus it. 49ers team total. Last last year, the Rams scored 23 points in two games against the 49ers. They are going to find the, the 49ers the defense much more resistant to throwing on than what they saw in Seattle last week. It also isn't going to hurt that the 49ers and that offense are going to control the ball, short passes, run the ball against a really weak Los Angeles Rams defense. So everything kind of went right for the Rams last week. I don't think anything's going to go right for the Rams this week. I don't know if I'd lay in a half or whatever it is with, with the, uh, with the Niners, but I do think that the, uh, the Rams are going to struggle to score points. So uh, I found we, we, you found that 18 and a half was, for yeah. me. So I'm going to go 18 and a half under that Rams team total. I love that wager so much. It, it, it's a great opportunity to fade a Rams team that play well last weekend with, you mentioned Puka Nakua and Tutu Atwell. Right? BYU's like, used Puka Nakua. Yeah. Um, formerly of Cal. He's a, he's a Pac-12 guy, too. I forget where, where he was at before that. Tutu Atwell? No, uh, Pukunakua. BYU. BYU, yeah. He's being Tutu Atwell's Louisville. Yeah, there we go. Um, all right, let's get to my my best bet of the week. Uh, I'm going here with the Packers, and now a pick them at Atlanta That there. surprises me. I, 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 I don't get that. Did people this line watch the Falcons last week? The Falcons won 24-10. The game was 17-10 with four minutes left. The Falcons had 13 offensive first downs, 221 yards, and they were two for 10 on third down. And they were plus three in turnovers. They were facing a rookie quarterback for the first time. The Panthers' offense line played pretty well. The Packers are a real football team. Like, they're a really good roster, and they need Jordan Love to do what he did last weekend. Just hit the open guys. Like, don't do too much. Don't make mistakes. The running game for the Packers wasn't great last weekend, but the Packers are like a real football team with a real coach who wins. Matt LaFleur has won like 75% of his football games. Like, he, like they win a lot of football games. I just think Atlanta is as good as they looked against the Panthers, which wasn't very good. So I got Packers here, and, and it's now to pick them. I would take minus one as well, um, but I'm going Packers here for my best wager. You know, I, 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 do, I do like that, that pick as well. I need to put in my super contest picks, and that might be, that might be one of them on what is a really rough-looking NFL slate. It's a rough looking slate. I feel like how many weeks of the year are you like, man, that's good NFL slate. <laughs> I feel like for super contest. Well, you, look forward to why picks, you look forward to watching it. I'll watch it. Yeah. But betting it. F- finding five for the super contest. And any contest you're in, which is, there's other contests that you that you can do on. I'm in, I'm in a couple. I'm in one that's I'm in one that's seven between mm-hmm. college and pro. Yeah, but that I played that before. That one's fun though, because you can put college in there. And, and last week and last year, the the William Hill college football contest, which is no longer, it used to be like eight picks a week, which is college, but not pro. But imagine yeah, you can't pick you can't pick eight pro games. So that, that would be forget it. That, that's an absolute losing problem. Eight pro games? So. No, there's no chance you could do that. No way. You would you'd be so four struggle, four best. I struggled to get four this week. <laughs> Bear Bets full episodes drop twice a week right here on the Bear Bets YouTube channel. Remember to subscribe to stay ahead of the odds and let's celebrate all of our wins together.